It's yeah. lovely to meet you. Kassan from Hayika. Oh, oh, man. Oh, thank you, man. Strong vibes. Yeah, cheers. Um, now, it's, uh, well, you, you've got some amazing outfits in this film as well, actually. Oh, thank you very much. Well, it's a very, yeah, uh, they're all kind of the same outfit, just variant of colours. He's one of those people that wouldn't be too flamboyant and knows what he likes and sticks to it. <laughs> and he's also... He, he's also not a anti-hero. He's actually an outright villain, I thought, um, for the most part. What's it like yeah. playing someone like that who's actually the lead of a film? Uh, it's interesting. I mean, John Niven, the, the author, gave a, a, a really great glimpse into this person's mind um, for me to try and inhabit. And um, I mean, the fascinating thing is what's very brave, I think, is the fact that a lot of the time when you're playing a character like that that's quite um, unforgiving, there's a tendency to, to make them see the light or change and have a, have a moment where they're you know, enlightened and um, realize the error of their ways. And I think the very bold thing about this is that there's really not any of that redemption for this guy. He's, um, he's nasty, but he's a product of the environment. Mm -hmm. and, and speaking of the environment, 1997 and, and the music of the time, um, are you a fan of the music, uh, retrospectively speaking, I guess, because you probably would have been too young at the time? Yeah, I mean, one of the, one of the first albums I bought was What's the Story, Morning Glory, so I'm um, a big fan of that, and, and, and Blur, even though I know that's maybe controversial, and um, there was a lot of great music around then, and, and it was a boom era in terms of the the British music industry so we see the workings of the music industry uh, from your point of view or from the character's point of view do you think that was part of the downfall of the music industry to where we are now in terms of the people that were hunting down in terms the of music? Uh, the music industry itself now isn't in a healthy state well uh, in terms of that I think it's more the invention of the internet and uh, and it's kind of lightly dusted upon in this where uh, one of the characters turns to my character and says uh, you know you might as well uh, line up a people, bunch of people on stage and let the uh, public decide who's going to be the next number one and you know that's essentially what began happening with X Factor and, and then the internet and Napster and all those things changed everything so there's not enough you know there's not really as much money in music in terms of selling records it's all in it's all touring now so it's very different for the bands but then again I'm not a musician <laughs> and, and not part of that world as much as I got a little glimpse of it through this so did you ever want to be a musician is that something that appealed to you I, I, I you know what I got given a guitar as a rap present on a job after filming this actually and I really enjoy like playing around with it but chances of me ever being a musician are very slim <laughs> not musically minded thank you very much man pleasure thank cheers you. ladies and gentlemen you're watching hey you guys Hey you guys, huh? Hey you guys, is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!